I know it's going to be a tiny thing. Hi, sorry, I didn't start recording on time. Um, so he's going to take over uh, kind of trying to get a, an updated snapshot because the current snapshot we have is way old. Um, still useful. A way old snapshot is still, still significantly more useful than a, a website that is down. Um, but uh, I agree that in terms of trying to make this a really useful tool for people, we would want it to be updating on a semi-regular cadence um, that would be super snazzy. Um, my hope was that we could, um, there, there has been a thread in Hacker News specifically about, you know, Wikipedia put out an announcement, people have been pointing to the, the IPFS on Wikipedia snapshot and having a little bit of a discussion about um, how IPFS can and is more, can be and is more resilient to DDoS attacks in that, you know, uh, anyone can be hosting and storing the content. Um, so I can drop the link in for anyone who wants to follow along that conversation, reply to any open questions that, that haven't been fully answered yet. Um, but I think there's still an opportunity in general to be better following Wikipedia. I did not follow Wikipedia, so I wasn't aware of this at first. Um, and uh, like responding, like putting, putting forward the, the fact that we do have a mirror and we would love more people to um, think about ways to make it better and give suggestions, especially if it has a small slice of Lytle's time to, to help usher forward open source improvements to it. Um, so I, I will continue iterating on that. Hopefully we'll um, think of a, a tweet or two to get out that just reminds people that this even exists, even if it's uh, still kind of a, a small slice of time and, and work in progress. Any, any thoughts or questions or concerns about that? Anyone have ideas of like, this should be an absolute, we should not do this, or this should be a blocker for sending any sort of tweet out about it. If, if we can get updated snapshot, sounds like a fantastic idea. If we don't have an updated snapshot, it sounds like a, a risky idea. I, I'd love to be able to do that communication with our organizational commitment to keeping that resource available very clear. Um, I, I saw the threads where this was like super rapidly revived, which was awesome. Um, is there a place to watch the like ongoing development? Like, is it GitHub repo? Is that what you're talking about? What, yeah, what, what, what is the repo called? IPFS slash Wikipedia on IPFS with dashes. Oh. Okay. I think actually I, it's distributed IPFS slash distributed dash Wikipedia dash mirror. Okay. There are two different you. ones, maybe. I don't mm -hmm. know. This is the one I know about. Okay, this is why I ask. Let's try both of them. IPFS dash Wikipedia, is that what you said? I thought it was Wikipedia on IPFS, but I don't know where I'm getting that phrase because browser is not auto completing it for me. I get a four. Yep. Nope. Distributed Wikipedia mirror is the only one of those that completes for me. And it has a lot of content in it. So I think this is the most up to date one. Um, but I think we should just start using file some issues for for things to add to the to do list in terms of reviving this. Personally, I, I think having an empty purpose is kind of a problem if we'd want to point people to this. So updating the readme is, is something on my to-do list. But um, yeah, assistance in, in reviving this, uh, very, very welcome. Cool. All right, Dietrich, the, I think you were the second person for the comms run book meeting. Oh, no, just a note that I'm going to put something in the calendar for that this week since that did not happen last week. If you are interested in talking about that, I'll probably pull you and Molly for sure and Arakadi, and then I'll dig up the uh, prior art around uh, con, emergency cons response, things like that. Anybody else? Uh, put me if you want to join. Snazzy. We also, um, I don't I guess this is related. Um, we have a, a meeting in an hour and a half. So again, if anyone wants to join, poke, poke me, you're welcome. Just to, to talk about our community OKRs around, or maybe these are core implementation OKRs around project support. 
and especially looking at some of our GitHub metrics around um, having systemized operation policies like issue triage, response time, tracking some of those metrics so we can um, evaluate where, where we are and aren't serving people who are contributing or interacting with us um, via our, our GitHub um, interactions so that we can try and make that a really good experience for people and at the very least have, have early warning and notification when we start slipping on some of those goals for ourselves. All right, um, maintenance, Dietrich. Woohoo! Just up, new version available. And uh, I think this is the um, first one that uh, Enrique really pushed out on its own around the whole process. It's fantastic. Uh, so check out the, the, the tweet there, and I love proactively communicating it as well. Sharing it community. Fantastic. Um, I, I think there's no other really um, you know, notable things to share in the area. One of the things we are still trying to figure out is path forward for tests. The test matrix is still pretty much empty. And I, I think that's definitely something that we're going to try to figure out. A, I, I would love to have the, the test matrix more filled in by the end of the year. I think that's a, a nice goal for that area that'll help us automate uh, things like regression finding and testing and, and know when, even if we don't have dedicated resources working full time on these things, make sure that the problems are, that are, the problems notify us as opposed to vice versa. So that, that's something I think I, I would like to have by the, for that part of the project operations group, a plan for that for Q4. Sounds awesome. Well, and we now have David back for, for a research update. So exciting. Welcome, welcome back. We hope you had a wonderful time doing all of the amazing things. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Uh, it's really good to be back and to see all your faces and to read all of your updates. I'm still processing my giant email backlog, as you might guess. Uh, that said, uh, thank you so much for like, like it, it, has not, it, it hasn't been as hard as I thought it would be to catch up. There has been a lot of updates, a lot of like fantastic things happening on Twitter. Uh, I also try to make sure to always keep posted on my email uh, just now and uh, every once in a while to make sure that if there was like anything urgent that could help. But like it seemed like everything went super smoothly. So congrats to everyone. Uh, like <laughs> it, 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 things are, at least from my perspective, look that they're really good in a good direction. Uh, so in terms of like research, uh, I started back uh, at full speed again today. So not a lot. Uh, today, what I spent time doing was to grab all the ideas and the discussion that we had in July about this network lab uh, creation um, that will eventually take on some or most of the res open research problems from my PFS and peer to peer. And so I, I grab all the discussions, grab all the thinking that I had the chance to do, grab all the notes, and now I'm converting that into the repo where the work is getting tracked, that describes what is this lab, like what it is going to focus on and so on. And so I linked here the pull request that you can like read, uh, give feedback, like see if it matches like what you expected uh, from the creation of uh, this lab. Uh, and if you have any suggestions or something that I missed uh, from other conversations, you know, let me know. Then uh, also huge i5 is not here, but like he, he pushed like a great collection of um, open problems slash protocol uh, design topics. Uh, Yanis, so Yanis has been like talking with a bunch of people from multiple teams, and just like kind of like understanding where everyone's heads is at, uh, where everyone's heads are, um, and he collected all of that in a document. Um, and I've seen that there's been some discussion about like just to stack rank these, these topics and, and their respective priorities. And, and the next step for that is really to understand like which ones of them are real open uh, research problems. That that's typically means that they require new thinking, new reading, new collaborations, and which ones are the ones that are more protocol design, uh, which typically means like we, we need to spec out things, we need to create the, the RFC to improve the protocol and so on. Um, the goal is to then have an event that like um, a team can like focus on these things for a short period of time 
to start some of these processes. Um, but, but yeah, I, I, this is the one that I'm that, that I need definitely to talk with the Anis first because it might not require the event to put this thing up. Like I think we can like start earlier. Um, and so yeah, this is uh, kind of like a, a a short update. The thing I'm going to be doing tomorrow morning is um, basically cataloging the open research problems that we still have on IPFS nodes repo scattered across issues and using the, the framework that was designed by the research team to like, describe these open research problems and list them on our IPFS slash research, with P2P slash research repos. Um, so that's going to be like one of my focus for tomorrow. And yeah, this is my update. Any questions? Jazz All right. <laughs> so we shall review async. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I do have like one last question. Um, kind of related to research, not necessarily, uh, more probably related with Collapse, um, which is there is a new co potential collaboration incoming um, with a, uh, not yet a user of IPFS, but potential user of IPFS, uh, Memex from WorldBrain. So they do like a web annotation application. Um, they were at IPFS camp. I think most of us like already met the team. And they are, they have an abstraction for their uh, storage layer called Storex. And they want to collaborate with us to make, to see how simple it is to just have IPFS as a storage driver. Uh, because the, one of the things for their, in their roadmap for this year is collaboration. So they want to have collaboration. They want to have multiple device syncing and so on. Um, and right now they use Firebase for all the things, but they want to be able to use IPFS, which also helps them, um, well, just achieve like their goals of like being offline first, censorship resistant, permanent, and so on. Um, and also can I open a potential collaboration between them and Mozilla um, that they are already discussing. And, and, and yeah, so they, they reached out to me. Um, we kind of like assessed what what they were looking for. Uh, it seemed like they just wanted like basically a way to ensure that IPFS could be easily integrated. That looked like an integration mini project. So then they talked with Jim, Jim Pick. And so Jim already had a conversation. Um, and now basically what they are asking is, hey, like do we have anyone with the time to do this? Will like will Jim have a week to try to ship this? Um, should we say no? Should we say yes? So I guess like I'm already unpacking a lot. What I want to yeah. know is like who to route this to, and I guess yeah, uh, yeah go ahead. <laughs> uh, so uh, I and Dietrich have been working on uh, like a slightly more formal process for uh, dealing with these sorts of requests. So I think you would probably make a good uh, beta user. So okay. we'll 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 invite you to run through the process and uh, see see what we get. So I'll, uh, yeah, I'll ping you, I'll ping you separately. Awesome, okay, sounds good to me. Uh, oh, I actually have a quick uh, collab process thing as well, which is that uh, I, I would like to, uh, if you're a DRI for a collaboration, uh, I will want to interview you uh, about uh, the, I guess, Dirk, Dirk dropped, so I'll have to, Tell him separately, but if you consider yourself a DRI for a collaboration, maybe like next week, uh, I will want to interview you about uh, the kind of the how much time it takes, what interactions you have, and how we can make it better. Just a little internal user research. Sounds awesome. And we are out of time. So thank you all so much. And I will see you all next week um, or in the IPFS weekly call, which is right now. Cheers. Bye.